Coaster Friends Day. This is actually a, just a test video, but I'm, the reason why I'm doing this early is because it's because by by the summer or by the spring I will be a lot busy. So just because I'm taking a football class, football practice, um, I might. So I'm doing this just in case I have a football practice or a rehearsal that 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 month or so so I'm gonna get started right now so please don't sorry about that please don't hesitate or say that I'm doing this too early because those are the days I'll be super busy with so before we get started let's go ahead and check out the last five years what Cedar Point just added in the past so in 2016, which is going to be next year, they will be adding a new dive coaster, which you won't, you won't really be surprised with because they just announced it on their memo. Now for this year, they've just converted Mantis to a floorless coaster, if you didn't know that, and it's called Rougarou. It's, it's one of the better floorless coasters at the Cedar Fair chain, but... They opened it in this year. This year. Last year, they they did a park improvement, which they upgraded the Gemini Midway and added a few new flat rides, which is a new Scrambler attraction, Larson Flying Scooters, and they also added Pipe Screaming, which is not a roller coaster. It is a Perla Disco, which they're not considered as roller coasters. Also in 2013, they've just added a new roller coaster, a new wing rider called Gatekeeper. And they also upgraded the park entrance to give it a new look. For, for 2012, they really didn't add anything brand new. All they did is they just uh, remove disaster transport and a space spiral to make way for the new roller coaster. Now. Here are my predictions for the for up these this coming five years. So number one, I would like to say I want to see a new Triotech Dark Ride go on top of the arcade in that one place. Now, many of people are saying this will not come until 2018, but however, I'd love to see this come to Cedar Point just because it's more outstanding it's a much better fit for the park and I'm sure a lot of P uh, guests will love it as well so this will be great to put in the park now for 2018 I'm thinking they should put in these Zamperla Air Race attractions because these are really popular they stand out really nice and guests will really love it you can uh, free flip anytime you want. You can go upside down anytime you want. You can just control it, which is pretty awesome. You don't have to go upside down if you don't want to. If you don't want to go upside down, don't, don't control it then. Just leave it alone. Now for 2019, a lot of people were waiting for this one because a lot of people wants this to happen. The Rocky Mountain construction treatment on the mean streak. Because you know why? This is gonna be a really, really fast roller coaster and really intense. It's gonna give a park a steep drop and a new kind of coaster at Ohio. There is no RMC roller coaster in Ohio. The closest you can get is Gemini, which is not actually the eye box treatment, it's actually A steel track with wooden structure. This one is I I box track, and I also would love to see this. It's gonna be really cool. My first RMC roller coaster was at Magic Mountain, which is Twisted Colossus. That was my first RMC roller coaster, and what I want to say about it, it was heck awesome. I love the first drop. I love how fast it is. I love how it goes, and I love 
how they built the ride. I'd love to see it. Now for tw 2020, I'm predicting just a new show because they spent a lot of money in the past few years. So now they just want to do a, a little thing just to save the money. So maybe they can just put in a little show. Because maybe shows are not that expensive. And for 2021, oops, sorry guys, 2021, I would love to see the Soak City water park expansion. I would love to see those new capsule slides and the snake pit water slides and those free drop water slides. This would be really, really cool. And Cedar Point doesn't have anything like it. They don't have any capsule slides there. It's all like normal slides. So I would love to see a water park expansion go to Cedar Point by 2021. Now, here's the recap of how the five years would look like. So, yeah, in 2017, yep, they will be adding those uh, rides in the f in the pat in the in the future, hopefully, because right now these are just my predictions, and I'm not sure if they're gonna really do it. So, anyways, that's it all about my Cedar Point's five-year plan. And I'm sorry if I'm doing this so early, because I'm gonna be super busy in the in the next year. Because I might have rehearsal that day. I'm just doing this just in case, okay? Because you know they might just cut off, cut me off the team. Who knows? So, anyways, I'll see you guys next time here at Coaster Planet.